Welcome to a new episode of Learn That Lick. Are you ready to learn a lick? Ah! Today we're going to be learning a lick suggested to me by Primeval Rudy on the Derek Roddy forum. This one comes from a Steve Miller song called Take the Money and Run. It's an awesome little groove with a fill at the start and a fill at the end. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, the first bits we're going to cover because they're the easiest bits of the entire lick are the fill at the start and at the end. First fill, four 30 second outs on the snare. I, I stick them right on the left. Then six 16th notes on the snare. I just go right, left, right, left, right, left. And then two 16 notes on the high tom. And then, you know, it goes into the fill or it goes into the groove with a crash. So slowly it's... And a little bit faster. Alright, so the only difference between that fill and the one at the end is instead of six 16 notes on the snare and two on the high tom, it's four 16 notes on the snare, two on the high tom, two on the low tom. Let's see what that sounds like. And a little bit faster. Alright, so the entire groove is one bar long. And this is the first sticking pattern that we need to practice in order to get the groove right. Those. I'll separate the one out of the tongue so you can hear. Basically, the way that works in the actual groove is the right hand is on the hi-hat and the left hand is on the snare doing ghost notes, which are quieter notes than a regular snare hit. So it sounds like this. So all we need to do to, do to uh, embellish that uh, little groove to make it what it actually is on the record is we need to place the snare drum uh, on the third hi-hat, like a, a snare drum backbeat on the third hi-hat, and then we need to add in an extra hi-hat note as well. So that sounds like... So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're almost there already. So the next thing we need to do is we need to place the kick on the first two right hands on the hi hat. So that, that sounds like this. And I actually just did it there. And you place another kick on the last right hand. So. Okay, so then at the tail end of the entire groove, which is just one bar long, directly after the second left hand, which goes, you hit the kick drum, you hit the hi hat, which is open, and you close it. Like that, and then you have an, it's a 16 note, then a 16 note rest, then another 16 note, where you count them as 8 notes, whichever way you want. So it sounds like this. Slowly, it sounds like this. Play the fill, then you play the groove three times, and then you play the outro fill. And then um, each time the groove is repeated, it starts off with a crash. So the whole groove at full speed with the fill at the start and the fill at the end. Here we go. It's 96 BPM. I don't have a metronome, but like I'm just going to round about. episode and uh, any comments questions or criticisms 
my legs. Comment section. That's where you put them. I want you guys to pick the next groove for me. So again, message me on Facebook or on this preferably and just let me know what you guys think. Thank you all so much. Love you. Thank <laughs> you.